So now's a good opportunity to talk a little bit about how we're catching these fish. We've only been out here a matter of minutes. We've already got three really nice walleyes in the box. What we're using is nightcrawler harnesses, which probably comes as no surprise. They're a very common presentation wherever you find walleye fishermen and walleye fishing. But we're getting our baits down using a system that is a little bit unusual. It's called snap weights. And you can see there's just a little pinch pad release here that goes onto the line. And below it, there's just a little chunk of lead. And what we've done is we've used three different size lead weights to stagger our leads in the water. We've got weights out there that are about an ounce that are fishing down probably in the neighborhood of about 10 feet. We've got weights down there about an ounce and a half that are probably fishing around 15 feet. And then we've got larger two ounce weights that are down there a little bit deeper yet. Um, so what we're doing is using different size weights to control our depth. Because we really at this point don't know where in the water column these fish are biting best. We've got three fish. We've got two of them on two ounce weights and we've got one on a one ounce weight. So we're kind of developing a pattern. It seems like maybe they're a little deeper this morning, but it's too early to tell. So we're gonna keep experimenting with these different weights until we finally figure out a pattern that's consistent and then we'll switch everything over to the same size weights and hopefully have all of our lines in the straight zone. I think a lot of people also understand that Lake Erie is famous for suspended walleye, walleye that move up in the water column. And the reason these fish are suspended is that's what they're doing, they're feeding. The only reason they come up in the water column is to feed. The forage here that these fish eat is called an emerald shiner. Emerald shiners like to be near the surface, so guess what the walleyes do? They come up off the bottom and they suspend in the water column, and that's what we were targeting. The beauty of suspended fish is they can't hide. When you're out there fishing, your sonar is going to mark these fish. You can see exactly what depth they're at, and then if you can get your lures to those depths, you're going to catch fish. Now again, that's the high line. That's on the outside. So that fish is up in the water column, and if it's like the first one you caught up there, it's going to be a bigger fish. We'll see. In with me. Let me help you with the snap weight. That's one of the smaller ones you'll see. Well, this is one that we're going to enjoy eating. No question about it. Pound and a half, might, might go two. Yeah, it's not very fast. Though. That's about two. Well, our guest on this program is Charlie Knotts from Ohio. Charlie, the way we met is kind of interesting. You want to share a little bit with that with the people? Well, sure. Um, Paul and I met on the OhioSportsman.com. Uh, it's the uh, website for the exchange of hunting and fishing information in Ohio. And uh, Paul offered up a fishing trip or a hunting trip to Ohio, and I responded and uh, kind of went from there. So this is the uh, first yeah. leg in that agreement, huh? This is the first leg in the, in the agreement. <laughs> first the fish, then the bucks. Is that how it works? <laughs> The buck walleyes and then the uh, buck whitetails, hopefully. Right. <laughs> Absolutely.